In 2001, Ed Koning was diagnosed with Fabry disease, a rare hereditary disease caused by a missing enzyme. At first, he suspected he could be a diabetic, which Koning's doctor quickly ruled out. You know, have a test, and about 10 minutes later, he said, well, the good news is you're not a diabetic. He said, the bad news is, I don't know what's the matter, but he said there's some things that don't look right. Doctors confirmed Coney's kidneys were functioning less than 10 percent, and the diagnosis of Fabry disease was determined. He said, well, your kidneys are shot, and he said, you have to go on dialysis or you have to have a transplant. Besides causing intense pain and heart attack and stroke, the average life expectancy of someone with Fabry disease is between 40 and 50 years. I went to see another doctor and another doctor, and you know, I make a long story short, they said, well, you're 43 years of age, but chances are you won't be alive at 50. The amount of people affected by a rare disease is an estimated 8 to 10 percent, and a diagnosis is often difficult to make. Sometimes people will go for 10 or 12 years before they're diagnosed because physicians don't see it very often. Koning beat the odds with a kidney transplant and enzyme replacement uh, therapy, and he focuses uh, only on the positive. I haven't been able to work, you know, so I can't work anymore. Um, but, you know, can I still function? Yeah. And uh, I think, for me, uh, it's not about what I can't do. It's what about I can't, what, what can I do? Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region.